Hey guys, what's up? Xcoundrel here, and today we're going to be talking about reflex blocks, and we're specifically in this video going to be looking at using them against captains. Now, we're going to start with Catherine. She's a pretty easy one to get to grips with, and um, so we're going to start with her stun. Now, that's pretty easy. She'll run at you, she'll put her shield behind her, and she'll try and slam it down onto your hero model. So that's a pretty easy one to get to grips with. You just need to make sure that you activate your reflex block in the second before she hits you. Her silence is a little bit more tricky, but it's always good to get used to the animation that she has. Catherine will bring her shield up behind her and arc it over her head, and there will be a tiny 0.25 second delay between connecting with the floor and the silence coming through. As long as you hit the silence after she connects with the floor, you should be fine. Adagio has really got only one, one ability worth reflexing blocking, and that's his verse of judgment. I want to just pay special attention to the point at which it's worth reflex blocking. When the runes on the outer edge go from black to a sort of lighter brown colour going towards that highlighted colour, that's the time to reflex block. And just showing you that you can reflex block his gift of fire, meaning that you won't get burnt and won't get slowed. Now, Arden, you can reflex block the Vanguard slow. It is possible, but very difficult. I wouldn't suggest it either, as they're probably more valuable things to reflex block, but just showing that that is possible as well. And obviously, there are obviously two ways to approach getting out of Arden's Gauntlet. You either just walk out with your reflex block in the second you activate it, you need to cross the barrier. The other way is if Arden tries to line you up. Now, Arden's ring shows you how sort of the radius of his Gauntlet. So I'm going to activate this basically on myself, and it should hit Vox. If you just have a look, he's able to reflex block out of it. Now, with Arden, the important thing to note is that when he does his animation, he will jump into the air for a very short period of time, but also he will have a ghost of the gauntlet around him. So you'll be able to see the ghost of the gauntlet just kind of pop up when he chooses to make that jump. You can see here, if we stop the frame, the ghost of the gauntlet will be visible. And Arden is in mid-air, and you can see his animation, I'll show you. You can't always see Arden cast this, but he jumps into the air for a very short moment of time and slams down his fist. During that moment, that's where he's casting the gauntlet, and when he hits the ground, that's when the gauntlet will become a reality. But the ghost of the gauntlet shell will appear before it becomes uh, something that you need to block, so always keep your eye on that. With Grace, you can actually block her A, and that includes blocking her passive. So when she charges at you, you can use your reflex block. Pretty self-explanatory, easy to block her B, has got a very long wind-up animation and shows you that radius. And also, you can block her passive specifically from her basic attacks to stop yourself getting slowed. So all of those things can be reflex blocked on Grace. Lyra is an interesting one because you can't really reflex block anything apart from her bright bulwark, of which if you want to use a movement ability, you have to basically block it as she casts it, but the cast animation of Bright Bulwark is very, very quick, and it's actually quite difficult to get to grips with. Um, so you need to be able to notice when she either predict it or notice when she's going to cast it. I'll show you what the animation looks like in greater detail here. She basically sort of swings her head, arms above her head, and then brings them down to the floor. It's so difficult to actually get that on a reaction basis, though, so it's more of a prediction thing with Lyra, especially just after she portals. Lance got a pretty obvious animation for the Impale. Um, what I really want to show you is I just slow this down. It's just, just, just in case you need to sort of understand Lance's animation a bit more. He does kind of lunge himself into the air. It is quite obvious when Lance tries to go for an Impale. The other thing that you can get the um, reflex block on Lance is the Githian Wall. Now, this is so quick, it is more prediction than anything. It's very difficult, reflex-wise, to block the Lance's Githian Wall because even if I slow this down to 25% or so, you'll see that the animation is just so instantaneous that you, you essentially have to predict when Lance is going to try and Githian Wall you more than actually see an animation. So a lot of Lance his blocking comes down to predicting when you're next to a wall and he might want to set up for a Githian wall. Finn is one that I know a lot of people want to get to grips with. Um, I feel like Quibble's got a pretty obvious animation. He just swings those uh, arms behind him and then brings his anchor down onto the floor. You can actually block Polite Company as well. Um, he's got a very, very short animation for Polite Company where he jumps in the air and stomps on the ground. It's probably not worth blocking Polite Company, but if you're ever interested and need to do so, the animation is there and you can block both the slow and the pull in. So that's a pretty nifty thing to know about Finn. The final thing is his uh, Forced Accord, which is obviously one of the main abilities that people want to get to grips with when blocking against Finn. I'll show you the animation in detail and slow it down. Also, 
But essentially, Finn has a very short wind-up animation where he brings his arms back. The majority of the animation is throwing his uh, hook forwards. You don't need to block until the hook starts to come backwards. So as soon as you see the hook on top of you, you can block and you won't get pulled in. Grump Jaws A, really, really easy to block. Very um, obvious wind-up animation. It's his C, his uh, stuffed his ultimate, that is a little bit more difficult to block. And actually at point blank range, it's almost impossible to block. It comes down to prediction. I'll show you in a very slow motion here as well. Now, he does have a slightly different wind-up animation. And the, and the arrows do, do get displayed on the floor. If you see, he just, he does instead of A, he kind of pulls himself back a bit further. He stops in place, instantaneously rears his head, and then he will start to charge forwards. But a lot of it is prediction more than anything. With Flicker's Root, it's actually a little bit... Um, I guess, uh, hard to know when to block it because you have to block it at the end of the animation on the route. Uh, and when it comes to getting out of his slow, that can be blocked at any time that you see it and then you just need to get out of it as quickly as possible. Let's talk about blocking items as well. Blocking Atlas Pauldrons and blocking Null Wave Gauntlet. Atlas Pauldrons are a really interesting one to get to grips with for blocking. It's a kind of like an indicator of how good you are as a player for some reason when you get to a carry level and you can block Atlas Pauldrons. They have got a wind-up animation, and it's about a second long, and I'll show you in greater detail. As you move towards your target, a sort of gold-brown swirl will appear around the uh, captain or whoever has the Atlas Pauldrons, and it is the Nova that is the activation of it. So there is a swirl around the character, and then you can block it during that swirl, and it should block the activation. With Null Wave Gauntlet, you can either block as the, the projectile hits you, or it's about... Half a second when the projectile hits you, and if the projectile hits you, just block after that and you should be able to block the item silence. Anyway, those are all the animations in slow and everything that I think you need to know for blocking against captains, including blocking those pesky items, including No Wave Gauntlet and the Atlas Pauldrons. I hope you've enjoyed this, guys. I'm going to be doing one for junglers at the end of this week. I'm working on my next Pro Builds video, and I'm doing my Vision video. So those should be two that you expect this week and probably the second part to this as well. So three more videos to come this week um, and I hope you guys are all right and doing well. See you soon.